Hi, Mini Beanies, and welcome to our podcast. If you enjoy some of the songs you hear in our stories, then head to our YouTube channel. It's full of music videos so you can sing and dance along with us. They're lots of fun. And there's a lot of different dances and nursery rhymes too. Just head to youtube.com slash at the beanies. Now on with the show. This podcast was recorded on the land of the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation. The beanies wish to pay their respects to elders past, present and emerging. Hi, Mini Beanies. It's the Beanies here. That means you're with Laura, Mim and Michael. Today we might take a trip to the moon. Hear some rock and roll music, yeah. And help some new friends. Are you ready, Mini Beanies? Let's go. I'm a caramel check on my... Yes! Yes, you can. We established that in season one. Hi, Michael. Hi, Mim. What's up? Well, you tell me. You're the one looking in the telescope. Yes. Yes, I am. It's my turn for the telescope. Mim. Mim's turn. Me. I know. No, I was just looking at you. Looking in the telescope. Mm Mm-hmm. Just wondering about what you might be seeing. Through the telescope, on your turn. Uh huh. I wonder. I wonder. Michael, this is exactly how the Great Telescope Debate of 04 began. And remember how that turned out? Remind me? You poked me in the eye with the telescope when you tried to see space backwards by looking in the wrong end. Ah, yes. I wondered if we could see space backwards. And then Professor Know-It-All said that we had to take turns looking through the eye hole of the telescope because there's room for only one eye at a time. And right now it's my eye's turn. Hmm. Can my eye have a go? Your eye can have a go when it's your turn. My turn? Really? Okay, let's go eye. Thanks, Bim. Hey, it's not your turn now. I said when it's your turn, not your turn. My turn? Yes! Hey! hey. My turn is always over so far. It wasn't your turn. It's my eye's turn. Wow. Outer space is so dark. I wouldn't know. I can't see on my turn. So vast. So black. So dark. Oh, hang on. You have the lens cap on. Oh. Uh. Wow! Look at all the stars. How the space is so bright and sparkly. Can I have a go, please? One eye at a time. Yeah, okay. Wow. Hey, you know how the Earth turns? Yeah. Yeah. And all the other planets turn and spin too? Yeah. Yeah. And they roll around and around? Yeah. Yeah. Like a roly-poly rolling town? Laura. Well, how come I can't see them turning? Well, actually, I have a story about the planets and how they roll. Would you like to hear it? Yes, Yes, please. please. Great. Just let go of the telescope and I'll tell you. Okay. (laughs) Once upon a time, on planet Earth, the president of rock and roll was very worried. Um, I'm very worried. The president had a much better telescope than the beanies, so he could see all the planets were rolling. But they didn't seem to be... Rocking. Who has rolling without rocking? We always want to be rocking and rolling. I must get NASA on the phone. Hello, NASA. Now, listen up. I don't like to be interrupted. I said I don't like to be interrupted. Now, I'm looking in my telescope right now, and I can see Mars is rolling, but not rocking. Are you there? I know, I said no interrupting, but uh, where was I? Uh, uh, Oh, that's right. Mars is rolling, but not rocking. Uh, I want to see rocking and rolling. I need you to drop everything and make it your top priority. 
Well, I don't care how, just get it done. Oh no. NASA had no idea what the president was talking about or how to get Mars rocking as well as rolling, but they had to try. And they knew the perfect man, well, pig, for the job. You see, sometimes when adult jobs are really hard and boring, adults do a thing called outsourcing, which is when you pay someone else to do it. It's great. If they succeed, you get all the glory. But if they fail, you have a scapegoat, or in this case, a scape pig. All the way over the other side of the world was Piggy Stardust, and Piggy was giving a TED Talk. And remember... The milkshake, no matter the ingredients, will always taste sweet. Thank you. Piggy Stardust was wrapping up his first TED Talk. You see, since discovering milkshakes on Mars, Piggy had retired and become a motivational speaker. What's a motivational speaker? And what's a TED Talk? Well, this guy called Ted once gave a speech that super inspired people to completely change their lives for a couple of days. Huh. So how does Piggy change lives? With metaphors about milkshakes? Gotcha. Anyway, Piggy Stardust was just leaving the stage after his first TED talk when NASA called him on the phone. Hello? (laughs) (laughs) Yes, yes, it is me and... You too can get a milkshake on Mars. Back on Mars? What? Why? But I, I... I'm retired. I couldn't possibly... Not rocking. Well, that is alarming. I see. Uh-huh. 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 Well, tell the president I'll do it. Piggy Stardust is coming back out of retirement. Piggy Stardust had signed on to the intergalactic space mission to get Mars rocking, a directive from the president. So Piggy blasted off into space with his course set for Mars. Five, four, three, two, one, fire! Earth to Piggy, do you read me? Over. Hi, Houston. I'm all set for mission rock and roll. Why can't we have both? Over. Excellent. Piggy, when you touch down on Mars, I want you to radio back everything you see and hear. Soon we will have Mars rocking as well as rolling. Over. Piggy touched down on the big red planet that had made him famous. He remembered landing here years ago on a mission to find milkshakes. How he'd grown and how the planet had grown. Mars used to be totally empty, with nothing but red dirt. But now, it was full of tall metal buildings with antennas on the top and metal zooming flying space cars and 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 puppies wearing metal astronaut helmets wow in just a few short years mars had gone from the milkshake age to the metal age wow whoa 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 i'm dizzy and mars was spinning Fast, so fast that everyone living on Mars was a little bit dizzy and a little bit whirly. Whoa, whoa. Piggy to Earth, Piggy to Earth, do you read me? Over. Go ahead, Piggy, what do you see? Over. I'm dizzy. Everything is spinning or or rolling. Uh, Over. Just as we thought. Now take out that rock and roll meter and check the rock to roll ratio. Over. Piggy pulled out a funny little gadget NASA had given him. He could hold it in his hand like a TV remote and it had a small screen on it. And the screen was a dial. One end of the dial said, roll, and the other end said, rock. Wow, 
The arrow is pointing all the way over to roll. There must be dangerously low levels of rocking on Mars. Houston, we have a problem. Rolling is off the charts with no signs of rocking. Over. As he looked around Mars, he could see all the dizzy aliens bumping into each other. Look out! Sorry. Curse you, Mars! Space spaghetti was falling off the tables. Oh, no, my spaghetti! It rolled away! Curse you, Mars! And when space doggies did their roll over trick, they couldn't stop. Roll over, roll over. Woof, 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 woof. Curse you, Mars! They were rolling in trouble. Mission Rock and Roll, Why Can't We Have Both? was going to be harder than they thought. Piggy to Earth. Piggy to Earth, do you read me? The only way to get Mars rocking and rolling at a safe level is to tip the scale back in the favour of rock. We have to have a rock concert. Over. Roger that, Piggy. But before you do, link the rock and roller meter to Earth so we can monitor the rock and roll levels from here. Over. Good idea. Over and out. Next, Piggy got to work setting up the greatest rock concert of all time to get Mars rocking and rolling. Oi, you there. Time for Mission Rock and Roll. Why can't we have both? Can you set up the stage? Here's 20 space dollars. Uh, You, you're on mics. $30 for you. Luckily, I have all this government money to save Mars. You, you do the posters... Uh, uh, and you do the social media. Very important. Everyone on Mars has to be there. What about snacks? Okay, uh, so we'll put the stage over there. there. And we'll take a big speak and, you know, the posters, right? I don't know if that these posters are right. It could be better, but... Earth to Piggy, Earth to Piggy, we have a problem, over. What? What is it? The rock and roller meter, it's reached dangerous levels of rolling. You have to hurry or the planet will roll away. Oh no! Houston was right. The rock and roller meter was off the charts. Mission Rock and Roll, why can't we have both, was now a speed mission. Hurry, Piggy Stardust, hurry! Over. So Piggy ran up to the stage and tapped on the mic. Uh, uh, testing, t- t- testing. Mars, are we ready to rock? Good. Let's bring out the musicians. Let's hear it for the band you've all been waiting for, as seen on ABC Kids, with two ARIA nominations, the winner of the Smelliest Feet competition, the Meanies. The The Meanies? Who are they? How many Instagram followers do they have? They look nice. Quiet, Michael. They're the enemy. But the Meanies didn't come to the stage. They just stood in the wings. Um, the Meanies. Come on out. But they didn't. So Piggy ran over to side stage. We're running out of time. Mars is going to roll away unless we get the crowd rocking. Now come on, Meanies, let's go. No, I don't think so. We haven't been paid. Uh, Of course. Uh, Here are some space dollars. I... Oh, wait. Oh, no. I'm all out. I used all the money on the people with real jobs, like crew, the marketing and the social media. The aliens were starting to lose interest and wander away from the concert. No money, no meanies. But it will be great intergalactic exposure. I can't pay my rent with intergalactic exposure. Ah, uh, um, uh, what do we do? Uh, Houston, Houston, we have a very big problem. Over. Don't worry, Piggy, help is on the way. Hurry, before the aliens leave the concert. Right at that second, the president's space limousine pulled up next to the stage. He got out and took off his super cool sunglasses in a very rock and roll way. Oh, 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 oh.
Did someone call for the president of rock and roll? Yes! The president stepped up on the stage, slinging his electric guitar around his shoulders. Wow, a real guitar? Not an air guitar? A real one. Wow. And he said... Aliens, are you ready to rock? (laughs) Harry, before the planet rolls away. I said, are you ready to rock? (laughs) One by one, the aliens were so overcome by the awesomeness of the rocking and rolling that they all started to jump in time with the music. Rock, rock. Rock! Rock! And soon, everyone on Mars was jumping as one. Rock! 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 rock. And the whole planet began to, you guessed it, rock! Ground control to Major Tom, a big red rock we've landed on. With signs of alien life about We're ready to clap and dance it out Get out those speakers, we're about your guitars It's time to bring rock and roll to Mars Houston, we're the problem here There's lots of rock, it's pretty clear But in terms of roll, Mars is out of stock We bring peace and love and rock and roll Gotta sing along cause it's good for the soul Your tentacles in the air And wave them around like you just don't care Houston, we're the problem here There's lots of rocks, so never fear But when it comes to roll The lines around the block We bring peace and love and rock and roll Gotta sing along cause it's good for the soul Rockin' and rollin', yeah we're rollin' around this rock Rock and rollin' around this rock Rock and rollin' around and rolling around Mars. Piggy looked at the rock and rollo meter and sure enough, the arrow was placed squarely in the middle of the dial. Mars had the perfect balance of rock and roll. And mission, rock and roll, why can't we have both, was complete. That'll do, Piggy. That'll do. Houston, we do not have a problem. Over and out. The end. It's time to close your eyes and wake your imagination and make a picture in your head of... A rock and roll president. What kind of rock and roll president are they? Do they have long, scraggly hair or a colourful mohawk? What does the rock and roll president do? Any work? Or just rocks out. What does your rock and roll president sound like? All gravelly voiced or 
shouty and angry. Well done, Mini Beanies. You made a rock and roll president. Now time for a song. But, well, we already had the song. It was in the story. Wow, you're right. That's some clever writing, Beanies. Now back to the telescope. My, my turn. turn. My no, turn. It's definitely I, my I turn. Because he should have been my turn. And then it was 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 my turn. Whoa, 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 Beanies. What's going on here? Professor Know It All. Now this looks a lot like the Great Telescope Debate of 04. And we all know how that turned out. Yes, yes Professor. professor. Sorry, Sorry, Professor. Now what are you trying to see? Well, I was trying to see the planets rolling around. Yeah, and I wanted to see if any of them were rocking, like in the story. And I wanted to look in the telescope from the other end and see space backwards. Ah, 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 oh, beanies. Now, when you say you want to see the planets rolling... Do you mean orbiting? Um, yes. Did you? Yes. Ah, ah, well, we have talked about orbits before, but shall we have a little refresher? Yes, yes please. please. Have you ever wondered why Earth doesn't just float away or fly off into space? Yes, every day I worry about that. This is because of an orbit. Can you say that? Orbit. Orbit. So, what is an orbit? An orbit is a path that an object takes around another object over and over again. Gotcha. I don't gotcha. For example, the planet Earth orbits the sun along with the other planets in our solar system. They all go around the sun, around and around forever and ever. Round and round, round and round and round and... This is because the sun is at the centre of our solar system. All the planets spin around and around the sun all the time. Why? Because the sun is so big and so heavy, it pulls things into its orbit. The size and weight of the sun is so powerful, its orbit moves Earth and all the other planets in our solar system. Wow, the sun is so powerful. And hot. And burny. Always wear sunscreen. Yes, not really relevant though. Thanks, Thanks, Professor. Maybe you can do some rocking and rolling. Or pay an artist for their work. Yeah. And rock out. Bye, Bye, Mini Beanies. Did you like today's podcast? Want even more? Well, in the show notes, you'll find links to things like worksheets to complete about the episode, colouring in pages, dance-along videos to the song, and all sorts of fun stuff. How cool. Can't wait to see what you create, Mini Beanies. The Beanies Beautiful Tunes were brought to you by The Beanies and the magnificent music wizard, James Court. Ah, ah, ah.